in me. I'm back again. I got y'all sitting over there because, and I know I'm sitting kind of to this side. I don't know how to fix that. Hold on. Okay, maybe that's a little better because I'm sitting here bored. I ain't really bored. I just feel like putting makeup on today. And yeah, I'll get what? I finished doing my work today. What I'm gonna do today, I'm done. I get my next load in the morning. So, I just made it here to the yard. Yes, I'm in Laredo. I'm in Laredo and my next slow pick up and go to where it go? Tennessee. That's where my next slow go. So I decided, well, since I ain't got nothing else to do, I know what I wanna do. Hmm. I shouldn't pop that. I know what I wanna do, but I'm not gonna do that. Not right now. So, for the means, y'all probably don't want to look at this. So, y'all can exit right now if you want to. But I decide I want to put some makeup on. The women might want to sit here and watch it. But when I do put my makeup on, this is usually where I sit at. And it's daytime now. So, um, I decided to play in my makeup. That's pretty much it. I'm uh, in a little bit. I'm gonna go inside and do just like I posted a, a picture on Facebook of me sitting. I think I was down here then doing my makeup and I made my face up and then I took it out. Made my face up and then took it out. So, means bye. Nice seeing y'all. Goodbye. Ladies, if y'all want to watch. And this, I'm, I'm going to explain some of this, of what I do inside my trailer. I put this F primer on my face. Um, it say it's lit. What is what, what this thing say? Lit from within. I ain't seen nothing light up, to tell you the truth. Oh, that's wrong. You're going now. Then I put this NYX, this NYX pore filler, because my pores, especially, this let me do this right this right here lit from within i'm gonna hold this up here but i know y'all ain't gonna be able to see it so let me bring it back i put that kind of like right here and right here and right here and a little on my chin and i rubbed that in then i went which i ended up putting it all over but it wasn't as much right here and stuff and on my nose in my little t-zone what they call it then I went with the NYX pore filler. I went with this next, and I mainly concentrated that right here. And on my nose, and right in there. Then, which I just saw me put on the back of my hand, was the um, face primer. Because I am going to put foundation on. I don't know how this going to look, because like I said, I'm bored. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Now I got to do my eyebrows. I need a palette thing, something I can use. Cause I make some mess sometimes, y'all. What? If the man's still in here, I'm talking to women, but ladies, y'all know how it is sometimes. We make some mess. If, well, if you ain't day like me, you make a mess. And you always unorganized. I don't know, I guess this is gonna have to do. And I'm gonna squeeze me some out. I don't think this is the right one. But oh well. I'm gonna squeeze me a little bit out of this that little dollop or whatever you wanna call it. And y'all, don't look at this as a tutorial. Don't do what I do, because I'm crazy. We've been discovered that, right? We know that I do some stuff that might not necessarily be the right way of doing it. So I take this, this, uh, oh, they be telling you what kind of brushes they got. My brush, <laughs> my 
my brush broke but you know what y'all know how i do i make it do what it do this is a f professional eyeliner brush but we're not gonna use it for that i got a nice set of brushes over there but since we just playing in makeup today let's turn the truck off for a second <clears throat> Now, I take this. Oh, I didn't tell y'all what that was. I was using it. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer in, I think it's Espresso. Yep, Espresso. So, this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso. And we cheap. So, and you get these at your beauty supply store. They're like $1.99 or $1.59 or something like that. I really like those. So, I already used my little... I use a, I think that's actually an eyeliner, but I use it for my brow. Or it may be actually a brow liner. I bought this one. This is a NYX eyebrow powder pencil. So I, it's, it's like that color. It's just a tad bit too light though, but I like the little spoolie on the end. I like that. But anyway, like I said, we just playing in makeup today. I turned the truck off because, and I'm going to turn it back on, but I turned the truck off because it's vibrating my steering wheel, which is vibrating my mirror. And I'm trying to get this semi-straight. And if y'all make it through this whole video, y'all is good. Since I'm, I'm, since I'm learning how to edit, I might can chop some of this out. And if I can't, I'm so happy y'all stayed with me as long as y'all did because I don't have no idea how long it's going to be. If I don't find my other... That's my pencil sharpener thing. Wait, hold on. It might be in here. Let's look in here and see. Because I got stuff everywhere. You no, know, some of my brushes that I'm going to need is in here. I got makeup. I've been having this makeup case for a while. And then I bought these little plastic containers that also have <clears throat> one of them have some of my makeup in it. The other one hold my um holds my um medicine. And the other one is it's up there. And the other one holds my um hair things, twist ties and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna be happy until i find the other things so let me pause this for you okay y'all look like i'm just gonna be unhappy because i can't find it i found these three these are new um but they've never been open hold on this might be the one i need yeah what the hell around me i'm tripping it's dark cocoa this must be the one i was looking for no i thought i had the phone Anyway, y'all, don't pay me no attention. This might be the one that I'm looking for. Well, pay me some attention, but y'all y'all get what I'm saying. So, back on what I was doing. I need to blend this stuff out because it's probably dry. Now, when I sit in the truck and I do my... Well, it don't matter if I'm in the truck or not. I, um... Keep me a, um... Makeup removal wipe. And sometimes I use it for what I'm using it for now. To wipe off. Which I don't know why I wiped it off. Because I'm finna use it. On the other eye. But some of them I do need to wipe. I do need to wipe off. What I wanted the other one for. Because I think it's closer. I can't see myself. Let me pick myself up. I started the truck back up too y'all. That's better. Let me see. I don't think this is the one that I want. But it's the one I'm going to use. Let's see. Whoa! Woo -wee. I'm doing one eye at a time.
Now, ladies, 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 you better straighten that truck up. Like I said, I don't do my makeup all the time because I don't have time for it. Some women, I don't know how they do it. Some women, they have that kind of time to where they do their makeup every day. Me, on the other hand, we know I don't like to get up. I need all my sleep, and I think I look good without makeup. Not saying that the other ladies don't look good. It's just that I don't have that kind of time. And I was talking to one of my friends, and she had mentioned to me about doing my makeup inside the truck and stuff. So I'm like, when I do put makeup on, that's exactly where I put it on it most of the time inside my truck. Unless I happen to be at the house, then obviously I put it on where at my mom's house. I put it on at my mom's house. But other than that, that's it. So, like I said, back on me explaining this to y'all since I'm doing this. I outline my eyebrow. I use. I get my eyebrows waxed into this semi shape that I have, and I'm be looking at myself in the thing some so I can see how it's looking. Also, how it's coming off to y'all. But I use my little eyebrow pencil or eyeliner pencil. It's in a darker brown. It's shit. Let me see if I can tell you. For the ones who want to know, that might be my complexion. If you want to know, I'm gonna tell you. Let's see. I got so much stuff on the thing. Where, where the little thing get? I don't use it so much, y'all. There it go right there. This. Whoa. Uh -oh. We better hope I can see what's on him. Nope. Can't see what's on him. But it's one of these pencils like this. It may be. An eyebrow and it may be an eyeliner I don't know but I just go around my eyebrows y'all should know how this stuff take place I ain't really doing no makeup tutorial I'm just bored and I got some time to kill so I decided to come talk to y'all and do my makeup so now they say the key is blend 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 and I agree blend the shit out make it look halfway decent now we be in a rush for the ones that's drivers. We sometimes be in a rush when it comes to our makeup. What y'all think about my eyebrows? I think they look good. What I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna do my eyes. But anyway, back on topic. We sometimes be in a rush, so we just have to do what it is that we can do. Now I also, even though I have some primer right here this is la color eyeshadow primer i might put this on but sometimes i use the lighter color um concealer the one that's in espresso yeah espresso the one i put on the my top eyebrow that color is dark cocoa good for dark cocoa i ain't finna go through the numbers and stuff I'm the worst. I know I am. I put the primer on my eye. How much I use, I don't know. I just stick the thing down up in here and pull some out. And I just put it on there to it look like it's enough. Don't put too much. Don't put too little. You know what you're trying to do. And then I just use my fingers because your fingers are great tools. You can use them for a lot. So take advantage. And I just smear that over my lid mostly. And then sometimes I use my finger to go like above the lid part right here. And I have hooded eyes too. So I just use it to smear above it a little bit. Because I'm going to put some eyeshadow up there. Then I do the other one. I was making sure my hand wasn't in the concealer. Do the other one like such and then once i done got it 
evenly coated across my lid like that I start going up with it I hope y'all can see that if you can't I apologize I am sorry so I do that I use this my blending brush cuz I don't know where I just put the other brush in I find it in a second it'll reappear that's how my stuff do so I take a little bit of this stuff and because yeah I went down there the lady asked me when I went to get get my eyebrows waxed she said you wanna get your lip wet no ma'am I don't need you ripping my lips off no but ever since she said that I noticed I don't think I have a mustache I know I don't have one but it is kind of dark or I look crazy <laughs> It is kind of dark around my lips. So I use the concealer to lighten it up. That lighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna blend that out good. Not too good though. Cause I need it to be, and I'm not really moving it like that. I'm kind of like stippling. Yeah, that's a good word. Stippling is a good way to describe it. And so because I have acne scars, I don't try to cover them up completely because they're a part of me. But I do try to cover it up some. Where it's like real dark here. good that look a hot mess <laughs> that don't look good right now <laughs> i've been saying that look good right there i'm done so once you get that did you got your prime on there it's gonna set a while and you go to your mini mini palettes if you like me that you might have this a cover girl palette i don't know when where or how i ended up with this my mama probably bought I think my auntie or my cousin got this for me. And I I got a lot of palettes, but I'm not finna go in our eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot, but I'm not finna go through all of them. Oh yeah, 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna have to cut this video and do another one. So, first thing first. You get you a fluffy brush. What's this? This is a no-name brush, because ain't no name on it. It's pink and silver. You get you one, I think I got this out wish. And you pick you a color out. Now they call this a tra transition color. I call it a color. And you put that up here on your eye bone. Up there. That's where you put it in. And you blend that around. And smooth that around. Until your heart is content. Until you happy and satisfied with it. That's how you do it. Okay, then that need to be blended a little bit more, but don't worry about that. We gonna fix it because we got to put a color up above that. Now I still got my ice stuff, primer stuff on my lid, and I'm gonna darken that in because I'm gonna go for like a a, a a smoky eye, yeah, a dark smoky eye. Now this ain't no truck driver makeup right well it could be whatever kind of makeup you want it to be if you feeling extra special that day you put your makeup and your eyeshadow on however you want it on because you the only one got to wear it damn everybody else that's how i feel about it so you just swoop it around and you blend and blend and blend and i don't like i got nothing up there but it's up there now knock something that out. Now I need my other one. Is this, yeah, this is the one. Because some people go with like an extra light color like that one. At the top. But I'm not going. That's going up under my eyebrow. I'm going to highlight. That's what they call it. Highlight my eyebrow. But I'm going with the color right here. That one. If y'all can see. Yes. That's what we doing. We're gonna put that up on the eye eyebrow. And I go kind of big on the outside and go kind of like tight close to the line. That's how I try to get it. 
My son would say, I'm doing it backwards. But I say, it's my makeup, my eyeshadow, and it's what I want to do. This will work for me. It's how I like it. So I don't think I'm doing it backwards. And your opinion don't even matter. <laughs> I'm so wrong. <laughs> but no, seriously, that's how I like to do it. And that's why I'm saying y'all do what works for y'all. If you like it, I'm telling you, I'm going to love it. If it make you happy. It make me feel wonderful. What? Oh, here go the brush. Then, I go back to this same color that I was once using. Now, I'm going to try to, what they call it, intensify it. So, and I'm going to blend these two together. Because I don't want that big old line the way it was. I want it to be kind of narrow like that. Yeah. That beautiful. Now that I got that color on there, go with me a darker color. Which is gonna be that one right there, the dark one. The darkest one you see. That's the one I'm using. And I'm gonna put that in my eyeball like that. And you just swerve it around like that. Until you happy. That's not quite black. It's almost black. That's the name of the color. That's what I'm calling it. Almost black. Just put that in your eye socket like that and you swerve it around and you blend in circular motion then you go windshield wiper and then you go circular motions you try to blend them together that's what you're trying to do and make it so you will have like the line demarcation stuff and see now we're getting into where we put our primer in too so you put that one in your eye socket too. I had to look at y'all really with one eye. You put it in your eye socket. You can feel it. You go up right. Don't poke your eyeball and all that stuff. Be gentle but determined. You know what I mean? Determined to get it there. Now I'm trying to deepen it up some. Because I want that a little bit darker. Although I'm going to go with black. But this got some light, some flakes in it. So, that's why I'm doing it. And I'm making sure I get... I'm going in my socket like that. And then I'm going also... That's why I'm using the fluffy brush. Because it's going in here. I already get a corner. I ain't got no corner. So, it's going in my socket. And it's also going up here. In the socket and also up there. That's what I'm doing. And so that helped me out to do it like this, especially when you go in your circle of motions. Okay, that's beautiful. Yes, my other color is kind of fading away, which isn't a bad thing because I'm finna go with this bottom color right here. It's close to the top color, but it's more um purple something. I don't know what the something is, but it's more purple something. And no, I have not switched up brushes because now I'm not blending as hard. I'm not blending as hard. So I need these colors. This one is going... I need these colors to blend together smoothly. Now, what I just did, I use this color up here at the top first. Then... I use this color right here. Second, that's for my eyebrows. Then I went with the almost black. A new name I made up. Third. Now on top of this color and this one, I'm putting that one right there. That one, gonna make sure I get that line concealed good if it's a line left. But I didn't get too happy with it. I just did just enough. Okay, let's close this up for now. What am I thinking? See, I should have used this. This one is more intense. But we ain't going to worry about that. I'm looking for something else now. It got a white back on. Now, inside y'all truck, y'all may be more organized than me. I just know what I have. And I be knowing what I want 
when I wait, hold on. No, nope, it didn't have a white back. It had a black back. So I don't know why, but I love this black. I need to give me another makeup wipe to clean that one off. This is my F. What this supposed to be? This say eyeshadow brush. That's my F eyeshadow brush. I only use this for my black, which I wiped it. I don't know why I hit. Sometimes I hit mine on the side like that, just to dust if I'm using it for multiple colors. But this one is specifically just for the black. I really just use the and the pink. I don't, I haven't even touched that one up there. I well I did touch it because I tried it for my eyebrow, but I ain't like it. So, but my black, I like this black and it got sparkles in it. That's why I said my almost black. I'm going to darken it up with a black. And that's going to give us our, our black smoke. That's what it's going to give us. Yeah, our black smoke. And I got to close my eyelid for that. I hope y'all can see this. I don't think I can zoom in. Nope, can't zoom. So I hope y'all can see this. The man over here watching me. He probably taking notes. That's going to go in the corner. In the corner right there. And at the top song. I'm gonna show it to y'all. I can't zoom, so we just doing is it mainly on the outer corner. And it's gonna go up a little bit because like I said, I have hooded eyes. And I hope y'all see what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep it where y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna come back with it because once I put my eyelid color on there. It's going to go out. That may not go out. It's going to kind of go away. Y'all see how my hood is. Y'all see how it's looking. That's our black smoke. We don't need a lot of black smoke. But we need enough. If that makes sense. Not that I didn't even put nothing on the brush. I don't think. Close one eyelid. So you can see pretty good. You already should know about where your hood start at. If you have hooded eyes. And you just go up a little bit. With little strokes. That's a part of the reason why we put the eye. What this look called. Primer stuff. Up a little bit. Okay that need a little more. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. Too much. Try to turn it around. And look at y'all like that. Okay. We got that going on. I need to do the other eye a little bit more. Now I need to look at it. And see if it's kind of even. Even though I'm going to come back with it. I still want to get it. Close to being even. And that's going to do it. Now we're gonna come back to the black. What color we gonna make our lids, y'all? Set that right there, cause we're gonna come back to the black. I was gonna pick a color out of here. What y'all think about blue? This center blue right here. Well, that's what we're gonna go with. I ain't never used it before. Now what the other? Okay, it's this one right here. Here go nothing. Let's see how this work out. Now you got to rub it and get enough on your brush. Cause this, in my opinion, the pigment is good on it. At the same time, I am black, so. And I hope I got enough primer on there. What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all think that look pretty good? I think. So, where my black brush at? Now, I know I... Oh, there you go right there. I, say, I know I dropped it down up in here. So, <clears throat> take my black eyeshadow. And I'm going to go over it lightly again. Very lightly again. Just to kind of merge those two together but I'm gonna blend it again too 
I just don't want to lose too much of my smoking. My black smoke. Now I'm going to intensify just the outer corner. When I say just the outer corner, I mean this on place I'm putting it in. Okay, then. Now, not that brush. This one right here. I think this is the one. Let's see. Okay, yeah. It got a little angle on it. It's by somebody. It's a no name. It probably F. And now I'm just smoothing the edges out. But I'm really just brushing on the black part. And making sure the top portion, along with some of the bottom portion, is kind of smoothed out. That's all I'm really doing. And I'm getting what I can see, not what everybody else can see. You got to go off your eyesight. And if you go off your eyesight, what you can see, what everybody else say, don't even matter. That's how I feel about it. Right or wrong, that's how I feel. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to put some foundation on. Wait, hold on. One need too, too dark for me. I think it's this one. But I don't know what the other one is. I'm not going to put this dark stuff on my face, though. I'm going to find the other one. I use this one. Yeah. This is Fit Me by Maybelline. And I'm in the color 368. And this one, I bought this one first. As y'all can tell the difference in them. This one is 375. But it's too dark. So, yes, I have a lot of fallout. Y'all see that? That's all right. So, uh oh. What am I thinking? Oh, right here. I'm going to take my little magnet mount again. Shake this up a little bit. Now, I will use my hands, but I'm going to use a brush right now. I'm going to swirl that around. That should be about enough. If it ain't, we can go back in the bottle and add some more. I would rather pour too little than to pour too much and trying to figure out <clears throat> trying to figure out how to get it back in the box now this is one of f f premium line i guess i don't know it's black it's a f it's a powder brush but we finna use it for some liquid foundation so um i just tap 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 in it and i tap to the side to to remove some of the excess that's just off because I don't want to put too much on at once. So then you tap that on. Look at that. You tap that on your face. Now I ain't going to get up under my eyes too good with this brush. Go down your neck and all that other wonderful stuff. Tap, 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 tap. And you put some more around your hairline, on your forehead. Some days I think I have a big forehead. Some days I think I have a small forehead because or I'm just using too big of a brush one. One or the other, but I be struggling sometimes to get it where I need it to be. I'm using my finger to get this under my eyes. Now I have a brush that I could use. And I don't need it perfect. Because I got to put my stuff up under there. My highlighter stuff. Which is concealer. But that little bit I poured out was enough. To do my entire face. I rub it in a little bit with our hands. I do this because your hands is good. Sometimes I just skip the brush and just use my hands. 
and sometimes I go like this. I use the brush and then I use my hands. So as y'all can see, you still can see like my acne scars or dark marks or whatever. But that's all right. My face feels smoother. Okay. Now, take your concealer. Like I said, this is the espresso. Now this, I'm not gonna put on the palette, which I think I got some left on my thing. Now, I use it. Squeeze you some out to the end. Make you something like a triangle. So do do you a design on your face? That's what you do. Okay. Now we got our wash stuff going on. We got blended out. Yeah. Now. See, I use this brush for something else. I don't want to get my other brushes. See, I have some brushes right here. These clean, I already clean and everything. I have a whole bag of brushes, but we just playing in makeup right now. So y'all don't do everything I do. Pave your own way. This is the invisible oil blocking powder, and I don't think this is the one I want though. Yep, this is the one I want. I think this is the one I want. Let me look at it this here. Yep, this is the one I want. I'm gonna set this powder, powder, not powder, powder under my eye. Now, I don't think I need to cook, no. Nope, I don't think I need to be cooking. But I do want to put this powder on because it did say it was oil something. And I use a different type of powder because the other one on the floor. There. How we look now? <laughs> I shouldn't do that like that, but it's too late now. It's done. Where's my other brush here? I'm probably gonna have to get one of the brushes out of there. To knock some of this stuff off my face. Nope. I keep doing what I'm doing. some of that powder off now for my 375 this is my dark uh, foundation so what I use it for is to basically contour that's what they call it to put the dark spots the shadows and stuff back in your face I just don't know what brush I use, so I'm gonna use this one. Cause it seemed like a good enough brush. Nope, I'm gonna use this one. Because it has some of that other, cause this is dark, y'all. It really is dark. 
and y'all about to see. And I'm doing my nose first. See how much darker that is? And now I'm gonna blend it out some. And when I blend it out, I blend, blend it down the side of my nose to put like a shadow there. Now, I'm not like a professional, obviously, so don't y'all think I'm professional. So it should be clear. I am no professional. And if you do think I'm a professional, shame on you. Because I'm not. And so, but what I was about to say, it should be clear. I'm not trying to do what those young girls do, snatch the nose. However, putting shadows and stuff back in your nose and on the side of your face. I like that. I like that. Go around the front. Just the bottom of the tip. And that's why I use very little. What y'all think? How that look? I ain't through though. So now, one more thing is. I got to do the side of my face. That's too much. Because I'm not using all that stuff on my face. Wipe my bottle off. Even though I'm a mess, I try to be an organized mess. I don't want my bottle to be all messed up and stuff. And I'm using the same brush that I put my stuff on there. Like that. that didn't mess up good enough. So we're gonna use our finger to make sure you get me. I shook it up, but don't like it mixed up good. Which this other other color, the 368, is kind of blending in with. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna blend it upwards some. I didn't put none on the side. Cause I'm already dark right there. I just wish I was like, if I was gonna be dark, just make me dark. But I guess, I'm dark, don't get me wrong. But I don't like that I be darker in some spots and lighter in the other spots. I don't like that. I like my chocolate now. Like if I was this color I just put on, I think if I was just that color all the way around, I think that'd be pretty on me to be darker than what I am. But I don't. That's why I put it on the side because, like, my side part that's dark. What y'all think? That's a lot, ain't it? I can see that in the, in the thing. But that's all right. We'll put it in our ears or something. It'll go somewhere. Then my other powder. I got a little powder puff and everything. So you beat that all across your face like that, like such. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. Put it on your nose, too. They call this setting the stuff. I think that's what it's called. That's what we gonna call it. Because we grown and we make up our own stuff. That's setting it. Now, obviously, we got too much on our face. So, we just blend it around. This is actually powder foundation. See that? It only looks so dark now, though. We finna put some eyeliner on. But it's the gel eyeliner. So, it's in a little glass jar like this. It's black. I wanted my angle brush because it already come with an angle on it, but I don't know where it's at. Turn the truck back on. Put the eyeliner on. Now, y'all, I don't know how to do a wing liner. That's pretty. What y'all think? I think it's pretty. Like I say, my opinion on the opinion that matters. I hope y'all like it, but if you don't, it just ain't for you. I respect that. What 
out to you. Do y'all like it? I think I want to get my Madonna on. No, is that Madonna or Marilyn or both of them? Either or. And darken in my mold right there. I just had the darn pencil sharpener. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And this is what some of the female drivers do out here when we have time. Some have time to do their makeup every day. Some be experimenting like me. Some don't have time to do their makeup at all. And I don't blame nobody for what they choose to do with their body. Now, I'm putting primer on here. And mascara, but I'm not doing it as much as I normally would do it. Now, the two is the mascara side. Because um, the reason why I'm not doing it as much as I normally would do it, false lashes on, so I don't need to put a whole lot on here. Pink. I don't know who did that. Lip shine. I'm gonna put a little pink there. But I ain't through. What my tweezers is. Now I can't do like everybody else. Just put them up there with the hand. I have to. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody else. But some ladies are so good. They can stick their eyelashes up there with their hand. I can't. What y'all think? Now, why this? I'm just pushing it down, y'all. Why that's drying? I put my dark purple um, lip cream on. Buttery matte. Now, just enough pink, baby. Just enough pink. Come through. What? A, I'm not going to use this one. Now I'm going to use this one. Bold and long. Kiss New York. I'm going to use this one. kind of try to merge my eyelashes in with my eyelashes that I paid for. But I don't think that worked out too well. And I think this one about out. So I guess I'm going to have to use this one. I'm looking at the time, y'all. This got fibers in it or something. So I want them to look a little bit more thicker. What y'all think? Now, uh oh. I need to prime my bottom, my bottoms, my bottoms, eyelashes. Kill truck. blush on and that should be done then well if I figure out how to open it this blush is by black radiance baked blush I like this blush now let's set this to the side and we finna comb this darn hair down some to see how it looks it look a mess. I know how it look. 
Hey, y'all, look at this brush. It's a brush, like a regular brush, but it got those little combs on it like that. And y'all, I love this brush. This is my mama brush. <laughs> but reason why I say that, I don't think we focusing. Reason why I say that, because this really is my mother's brush, but she gave it to me. Because I went to the store where she got this one from to get me one. And I couldn't, they didn't have any more. So, um, oh, it feel good on my scalp too. But yeah, it's like combing through my hair and brushing it at the same time. Do y'all see that that's neat? Maybe I'm the only slow one. But yeah, and it look like, like you look at it like that, it kind of look just like a brush rubber. But no little teeth on it. I love that. So, we ain't finna do nothing too special with this hair. I'm just doing this because I'm gonna do a smaller snapshot picture. Oh, hang on my twister right here. And for the ones who are curious, if you just visiting my channel, I because I said something about makeup. Uh, obviously, if you can't tell, I am a lady truck driver, and we do like to put makeup on sometimes. We are still sexy and fly. I'm out here surrounded by men. They looking at me. It's a man over there in his truck. He ain't in his truck no more. And I got five trucks in front of me that's facing me. And I'm still getting beautiful. Beautified, planning my makeup to go nowhere. Now, I wash my hair. And I put some um, heat protection stuff on it. And I blow it out. So, I need a flat iron it. And guess, for the ones who are also curious, I am natural. Let me see. How that look, y'all? How that look? Y'all like that? I look like that um, little elf thing with the King Grizz. Yeah, my ear sticking out. I forget what's going on. So, but yeah. <clears throat> this is what some of the lady drivers do sometimes. Just because we drive trucks don't mean we don't like to be looking out fly and stuff sometimes. What y'all think about that? Alright. Well, yeah. I just pull it up for a second. Like that. Now y'all gonna look at me take a picture of myself. So everybody, here go a close-up of what we did. Yeah, I like. So that's a close-up of what we did. Um, let me tie my hair up. And that is it, y'all. Now it is time for me to wipe all of this stuff off of my face. Get my shower bed together. And go take my shower. My camera kept cutting off. So I know I missed some things in there. But I hope y'all enjoy this little video. Till next time. I'm probably going to do another video. But I'm going to go take a bath right now. So until next time my people. I do say though. Don't be looking at me. He's sitting there watching me. I'll turn my phone around. And let y'all watch him. Anyway, y'all, let me get off of here. I will talk to y'all good people later. All right, bye.